Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm here to do 45 minutes of yoga with you today. We're going to uh, be breathing deeply. Um, this yoga flow incorporates some deep stretches as well as some work for long, lean muscles. Um, you can take this at your pace. This is not something that is going to look the same for everybody. You're going to take this each step of the way, listening to your body, taking a break when you need to, modifying when you need to, um, breathing and really, really lengthening those muscles, working on our balance too. So uh, this is a Skype class that I videoed. So when I'm facing the camera, uh, when I say left, it'll look to you like right. So either do what you see me doing or do what you hear me saying, okay? Enjoy this. I want you to feel good at the end. Uh, be ready for a nice, relaxed and focused rest of your day. Here we go. Go ahead and get started with yoga today. Welcome to your Friday. We are going to be using a yoga strap today, so make sure you've got something like that with you. And let's flex those feet, bring that chin in your chest. Think about your shoulder blades pressing into those imaginary back pockets. Just take those deep breaths in and out. Think about the breath being in and out through the nose. And let's relax those feet and just gently start to walk our fingertips between our feet. And as you exhale, you can start to bend the elbows. Just bringing yourself right here to this present moment, putting everything else to the side. Deciding to give yourself this time for your yoga practice. Good, and as you exhale, let's go ahead and walk those hands back. As we roll those shoulders away from the ears, you can bring your feet a little farther apart if you want. And let's take a nice deep breath in. Let's come over to your right so you can grab onto your shin, your ankle, or your foot. Gently start to bend that right elbow, glance up, lifting the left side of the rib cage away from that hip bone. Good, and on your exhale, you can place both hands on your right leg, nose to that knee. And just really use each exhale to try to let go of any distractions. Exhale, let's relax our feet, walk those hands between our feet. And as we start to bend those elbows, just notice where you're feeling some of the tightness. And try to breathe that oxygen right into that tightness and let it go with your exhale. As we walk it back, shoulders away from the ears, let's flex those feet, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale over to your left. You're gonna glance up. Take the right side of the rib cage away from the hip bone. Bend that left elbow and breathe. Good, both hands on that left leg, nose towards that knee. Using your exhale to just test to see if you wanna deepen that stretch. And then relax the feet, walk those hands between the feet and just gently start to bend your elbows. Good, let's walk those hands back. Shoulders away from those ears and let's come to our hands and knees. Let's do a couple cat cow stretches, arch up into a nice cat stretch. And glancing up. And that one more time. Good. Let's come to our plank with our wrists below our shoulders. Abs are strong. Anytime we're in plank, you can bring those knees down when you need to. Let's hug our sides as we come down. Let's come into up dog, opening that chest, lifting the head. Taking those breaths and then knees apart. 
big toes together. Let's sit back in child's pose. Rest your forehead, let the middle of that chest just sink between your shoulders. Deep breath. Good, let's tuck those toes under and come to down dog. And let's automatically shift some weight out of the heel of the hand more towards our knuckles. Lifting those hips up and letting your head and chest just sink between your shoulders. Feel that nice stretch from your glutes down to your ankles. Sinking down as you exhale. Now let's roll to your right side plank. Your right wrist is directly under the shoulder. You can have the right knee on the mat if you want to or straighten the leg. Remember, make this full class all about you and what's best for you. Very little things in your day can be just about you. So allow this to, you're just gonna work at your pace. Let's go ahead and come back to plank. Let's keep our abs strong and hug the sides as we come down. Come into up dog with a nice open chest. And you can do a push up if you want to, or just come to down dog. Again, that's up to you, completely your choice. As you exhale, the head and chest sink. Let's take turns, bending one knee and then the other. Loosening up those calves. And on your exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. With that chin in your chest, let's take those right toes up to the ceiling. You can walk your hands a little closer to your left foot if you want to. These are just suggestions. Right toes up, left knee as straight as possible. Left hand could hold the ankle if you want it to. Remember you're working at your pace. Reaching those right toes up. And then exhale, let's bring those feet together. Let's cross those forearms. Holding the opposite calf, chin to your chest, straightening those legs just the best that you can. Deep breath. Feel the rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract as we release the hands. Glance up, lift the tailbone, and reverse swan dive up. Reach up and back into standing back bend. And then let's bring that right arm down. We're gonna keep those feet together. Left fingertips reach to the ceiling, right fingertips walk down your leg. Then for half moon, your right hand's gonna hold the wrist. Just gently pull and rest the head as you breathe, pressing your left foot into the mat. Good, deep breath in. Exhale a little bit deeper, nice and long down your left side. Good, and we're gonna come up to the front of the mat again. Standing back bend. Good, and we're gonna bring those right toes behind us. We're gonna engage our middle. And as we lower the chest, we're gonna raise the leg. You decide how high you're gonna bring that leg. Take some deep breaths in and out. And then just gently lunge on your toes. Your left knee is bent. You're going to lean back into your crescent lunge. So I want you to tuck the pelvis under, getting that good right hip flexor stretch. And look past your fingertips, swing through. Inhale up. We can scoot our right foot a little farther back and really lean back. Good, let's take that right knee down to the mat. And if you want to, you can fold up the back of your mat for a little bit of cushion for your right knee. So sinking forward onto your right hip flexor, I want your left knee to be right above the ankle. Straighten the arms, chin in your chest, and shoulders down. Keep sinking forward, bending that left knee. Good, on your exhale, your right arm can come to the outside of that thigh 
and your left hand can come to the low back. Just again, sink a little bit farther forward, twisting and looking behind you. Two deep breaths here. And on your exhale, let's untwist. You can go ahead and unfold the mat. Come on to those hands and knees. Give yourself a nice cat cow. And let's come to our plank, wrist below our shoulders. Lift that belly button up. Hug the sides with your elbows as you come down. Up dog, opening the chest. Push up is just an option, take it or leave it. And down dog. So take some deep breaths in and out there. I want you to relax your quadriceps and your knees. as well as your feet. And on your exhale, we're gonna to roll to our left side plank. So your left knee could be on the mat. You want your left wrist directly under the shoulder. That right arm is up. And let's roll that right hip open and allow that right arm to become heavy towards the back. Rib cage and diaphragm expanding and contracting. So we slowly come back to plank. Abs are lifted up, wrists are below your shoulders. Let's hug those sides as you come down. Knees down when you need to. And into up dog, opening that chest. Push up is an option and then down dog. Let's connect back to our breath. Feel the rib cage and diaphragm expand as you inhale and deflate as you exhale. Use your exhale to deepen that stretch. At the end of an exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. And with your chin and your chest, you're going to take the left toes up to the ceiling. You're going to walk the hands a little closer to your right foot if you want to. Nose towards your right knee, left toes up, and that right knee is as straight as you feel comfortable. If you want to, that right hand's holding the ankle, but you don't have to. Inhale, left toes reach, right knee straightens best you can, and then those feet come together. Let's hug our thighs, holding onto the opposite elbow, chin in your chest. Try to straighten those legs the best you can. Deep cleansing breaths. Good end of your exhale. Let's release those arms. Let's glance up, lift the tailbone, and reverse swan dive up. Standing back. Good. Let's take that left arm down. Keeping our feet together, right fingertips reach and left fingertips walk down your leg. For half moon, let's take that left hand, grab the wrist, gently pull. Rest your head and push that right foot into the mat. Deep breath. Exhale, sink down just that little bit more. Good, front of your mat. Reach up and back, standing back bend. Good, those arms come down to shoulder height. We're gonna bring the left toes behind us. Abs are strong. Find a spot you're staring at for balance. And let's bring that back like it's a tabletop. Just doing the best that you can. Warrior three. Gently lunge on your left toes. Right knees above the ankle. Lean back into your crescent lunge, tuck the pelvis under, getting that left hip flexor stretch. Good, let's pass those fingertips and swing through. Inhale up. Exhale, left foot goes back a little farther. Really lean back. And let's gently take that left knee down to the mat. And we're gonna go ahead and fold up the back of the mat if you want to. For a little bit of cushion for that 
left knee. Place the hands on the right thigh, sink forward, but you don't want the right knee to overextend. You don't want to see this. So step that foot out so the knee and ankle are in alignment. Sink forward onto your left hip flexor. Straighten the arms, chin in your chest, and breathe. And then the left forearm comes to the outside of the thigh. Look over your right shoulder. Slide that right hand to your low back. Bend that right knee nice and deep as you breathe. Big exhale, let's untwist. You can unfold the mat. And we're gonna come back to our plank. Abs lifted up, hug the sides as you come down slow. Nice up dog, open chest, lengthen. Think about lengthening from the top of your head to your tailbone. Push up if you want to. Down dog. Deep breaths in and out, sinking down with the head and chest and lifting the hips up. Good, on your exhale, let's reach those right toes to the ceiling. Walk the hands back, the nose is towards that left knee, right toes reach. Exhale, gently swing that right leg through. And let's get ready for prayer twist. So our right foot's gonna walk to the right. Modification is that left knee down if you need to. Left elbow to the outside of that right thigh. Palms together, right elbows up towards the ceiling. Now this is strength, flexibility, and balance all in one move. With that face nice and calm, deep breaths. End of your exhale, very slowly. One hand down, the other hand down, the left knees on the mat. We're bringing our hands to the inside of the foot and we're gonna walk the foot to the right. As you sink that left quadricep forward, start to bend your elbows. You decide whether you come to your forearms or not. Chin in your chest. You're welcome to stay in your palms. Remember, you're at home. You, I don't want you to compare yourself to anybody else. Again, this full 45 minutes is all about you taking care of your muscles, relaxing. Good, at the end of that big exhale, let's go ahead and come back to your palms. Let's walk the right foot to the middle of the mat. Let's shift ourselves back. And let's slide that right leg towards the front of the mat. You're only going to come out to where you're, you feel enough of a right hamstring stretch. Your left knee could even go farther back. Don't go out so far that it hurts. It should just feel like a deep stretch. Bend your elbows, sink your chest towards your right thigh. Your right foot should just be relaxed. Right hamstring feeling a stretch, but you're also taking that left quadricep, sinking it down towards the mat. Dissolving tightness as you breathe. Try two more deep cleansing breaths here. As you exhale, let's walk those hands back. And right foot on the mat, right knee coming to the mat. You can kind of shake those hips side to side a little bit. And then your right wrist is directly under the shoulder. Extend that right leg behind you. With those abs lifted up, left arm reaches for spinal balance. We either stay right here or we bend that right knee with the foot in the air. Left hand reaches around to grab it. Let's take that right foot up. Let's lift ourselves out of that right shoulder. Take the top of your right foot, 
push it away from you as you lift it up. Deep breaths the whole time. Exhale, let's reach as long as you can. Hand and knee down. Hips are gonna sit right, and right hand comes on top of the left. Deep breaths in and out. Good, let's untwist. And let's come back to our plank. Remember, you can take a break whenever you need to. Lift the belly button up. Let's not let the hips lead, but knees down when you need to. Your chest leads, come on down. Nice up dog, lifting up. And you can do a push up if you want to, then down dog. Exhale, shift some weight out of the heel of the hand, just a little bit more evenly distributed, more towards your knuckles. Lift those hips, allow the head to sink. Feet are relaxed. On your exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Glance up, lift the tailbone, and reverse swan dive up. Up and back, standing back leg. Good, open it up. Wind the mountain. And let's spread those feet as far apart as you want. Doesn't matter which leg is in front. Just so they're on the long ways of the mat. Bend your knees a little bit, abs are engaged. Let's walk those hands down. And see if those feet wanna come any farther apart as you sink that head down towards the mat. And lift the tailbone up. Left hand between the feet. Just take that right arm up, gentle twist. Right shoulder rolls open, the left ear gets a little closer to the mat. Slowly untwist. Let's take that left arm up. Bend your right elbow, let that right ear get closer to the mat, gently roll open. And then as you exhale, see if those feet want to come any farther apart. Palms are a little bit in front of you. Bend your elbows, sink those elbows towards the mat, chin in your chest. And you're trying to straighten those legs the best that you can. Relax the front of your knees and your quadriceps. And let's walk those hands towards the front of the mat. Doesn't matter which leg is in front. So we're gonna bring that leg back because we're coming back to our plank. Abs lifted up, let's hug the sides, come on down. Up dog. Push up is an option. And down dog. Two deep breaths here, in and out. Connect to that breath. Put to the side any chatter that's entered into your mind and just be in this present moment. As we exhale and bring our left toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back. Nose towards your right knee. Reach those left toes nice and high. Good. Exhale. Gently swing through. Left knees right above the ankle. Prayer twist on this side. So the left foot can walk a little farther left. Your right elbow comes to the outside of the thigh. Palms pressed together, shoulders away from the ears. So you can modify by putting your back knee towards or on the mat. If possible, your left elbow is up and you're not shrugging those shoulders. Face stays calm, deep breaths. You can always move that back foot a little farther away from you. end of your exhale let's very slowly bring one hand down and then the other with the right knee on the mat hands on the inside of that foot as we walk our left foot a little farther left right quadricep sinks towards the mat bend your elbows if you want but if you need to stand the palms please feel free 
Feel your way through this. Notice the muscles that are tighter than others. Try to breathe that oxygen right into those tight muscles. Exhale, relax. Allow those muscles to lengthen. Exhaling completely each and every time, not holding back. And of that exhale, let's go ahead and bring those palms to the mat. Let's walk that left foot towards the middle of the mat. You're going to shift back and slide your left foot straight forward. So you don't want it at an angle. Sliding it straight forward. Right knee can come farther back. Remember, you're only coming out to where it's comfortable for you. Hands could walk towards that left foot. Let's bend our elbows, sinking our chest towards that left thigh. And remember that left foot is just nice and relaxed. Feel the rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract. Lengthening between those muscle fibers straight down that left hamstring. Let it go for one or two more deep breaths. And of your exhale, let's very slowly ease our way back. Let's bring that left knee to the mat. And you can kind of shake those hips side to side a little bit. And then with the left wrist directly under the shoulder, Let's extend that left leg behind you. Lift the abdominals up and reach your right arm long. Lift out of your left shoulder. You're welcome to stay here extended or that left foot lifts up and the right hand reaches around to grab it. Let's take that left foot up to the ceiling. Push the top of the foot away and breathe deep. Inhale, really lift. Exhale, when you're ready, extend back out, reach long. And hand and knee down. Sit those hips left, and left hand walks on top of the right. Good, give yourself a nice cat stretch. Glancing up to the ceiling. And you're going to come back to your plank, your second to your last plank of today. Let's hug those sides. Come on down slow. Keep the abs lifted up. Up dog. Push up if you choose. Down dog. Belly expands as you inhale, deflates as you exhale, and relaxing those feet. Right toes to the ceiling. Hands walk back. Let's bend our right knee and allow that right leg to hang to the left. Feeling that nice stretch all the way down the right hip and right side of the rib cage. As you exhale, let's slide that right knee between our hands for pigeon. Let's take those left toes, tuck them under, and walk that leg back. As we open up the chest, we want to make sure that our right hip's not going to roll right. We want to keep our belly button facing down. Left, or excuse me, right foot can walk towards your left hand. Let's walk those hands straight down the middle. Let's rest our forehead on our fists or on the mat. Take a deep breath into the tightness around your right hip joint. Exhale, just allow it to dissolve. All those muscles that surround that right hip joint. These muscles can get very tight and make us have a Issues with our low back. We don't want that. 
Let's glance to our right. Just a suggestion. If it doesn't feel right, you don't have to. This right hand can even slide to your low back. Shoulders just relax, dissolving that tightness all around the right hip joint. End of your exhale, we can slowly untwist. We can glance forward and allow our left fingertips to walk a little farther away, rolling that belly button towards the mat, forehead down and breathe. Exhale, let's walk it back. Slide that right knee back. Let's keep our knees apart, big toes together. Take a couple breaths in child's pose. Let the middle of your chest just sink between your shoulders. Good, up into those hands and knees, nice cat stretch. Glancing up. And let's come to your last plank of today. Wrist below those shoulders. Come on down slow. Up dog, open that chest. Push up is an option. Keep those abs strong. And down dog. Shift some weight out of the heel of the hand, more towards the knuckles. It's going to be healthier for those shoulder joints. Relax your feet. Lift your hips and breathe. Good, left toes are gonna reach up to the ceiling. Walking those hands back a little bit. We're gonna bend that left knee and let it hang to the right. Open up that left hip joint as you breathe. The heavier you allow it to hang to the right, more of a stretch you're going to get. And exhale, let's slide that left knee between our hands for a pigeon. We're going to tuck our right toes under, walk that leg back. Our left foot can come a little closer to your right hand, but you don't want to roll to your left. Keep the belly button facing down. Let's walk our hands straight out. Let's rest our head on our fore, our head on our uh, fists, or on the mat as you breathe. Deep breath into all those muscles that surround that left hip joint. Exhale, allow that tension to dissolve. Let's glance to our left, resting on the right side of the face. If you want to, back of that left hand at your low back. Relax your shoulders. Deep breath. End of a big exhale, you can untwist. And we can glance forward and take our right fingertips this time and walk them a little farther away. Forehead down and breathe. And let's slowly ease our way out, opening up the chest. Slide that left knee back and allow those hips to wiggle a little bit. We bring those knees apart, big toes together. Look up to your right and rotate your wrist, please. Right hand palm up underneath the left. Rest on those hips, those hips back to your heels. Resting on the right side of the face as our left fingertips walk to the front of the mat. And then the back of our left hand 
comes to the low back, relax those shoulders. Wiggle your fingers, deep breath. And slowly untwist. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Knees apart, big toes together. You're gonna look up to your left and rotate your wrist. And then left hand palm up underneath the right. Sit back and those heels rest on the left side of the face. Let your right fingertips walk away from you. Let the back of your right hand rest at your low back. And those shoulders just fall. Slowly untwist. Let's come to the front of the mat. And we're going to come into our boat pose. For those abdominals. So you want those shoulders away from the ears. You do want your yoga strap to be next to you. So you'll be able to grab it when we need it. So deep breath in. Exhale, let's bring those arms up. Engage your middle. One foot up, you're welcome to take both as long as those abs are working and your back is not hurting. Let's lift those toes up and breathe. As you exhale, come on back. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. Press those knees apart as you pull those heels down. And then holding on to either your ankles or your feet, the feet facing the ceiling, elbows are gonna press those knees apart as you gently rock side to side. Happy baby. Can either continue to stay right here or your first two fingers on your big toes press those heels apart and allow those knees to relax out deep breaths in and out on the exhale let's release place those feet on the mat and walk them farther apart than your hips Touch your heels if possible and lift into your bridge. Pushing those hip bones up to the ceiling, deep breaths in and out. Inhale, gentle lift. Exhale, lower down just one vertebra at a time. So we bring the left leg straight out on the mat and the right foot comes into your strap. Let's hold the strap with our right hand. Take the leg out to the right as you glance to your left. Now we want to keep that left hip rolled down to the mat. Gently pull with your right hand, deep breath. On your exhale, let's go ahead and bring that right leg up. Move that strap closer to the ball, um, excuse me, to your heel. Relax the foot as you gently pull the leg in. Right knee is gently pressing away from you. Deep breaths. As you exhale, move away, move the strap towards the ball of your foot and get that nice flex. As you pull the leg towards you, let's take the right or left side and gently pull a little bit more on one side. You'll feel which one deepens your calf stretch. Just kind of rolling that foot out or in. Release, we're gonna take the foot, the whole leg across the body and you're gonna look in the opposite direction for a nice right IT band stretch. Gentle pull. Remember that exhale can help you deepen that stretch a little bit. 
slowly bringing that right leg up. Let's place both feet in the yoga strap and gently pull them towards you. Lifting the hips if that feels okay. Release that right leg goes flat on the mat and you're gonna place that strap in your left hand. Take it to the left as you glance to your right. So let's keep that right hip rolled to the mat. You're gonna miss part of the stretch if you let it lift up. Good, on your exhale, let's bring that left leg up. And let's move the strap towards your heel, relax your foot. Gently pull it towards you as you press that left knee away from you. Deep cleansing breaths. Using your breath to deepen that stretch when you can. Move the strap towards the ball of your foot. Get that nice flex. Gently pull it towards you. Feel free to roll the foot out or in by pulling on one side of the strap. Release, let's go ahead and take it across the body. Holding that strap with your right hand, you're gonna glance to your left. Gently pull, stretching straight down your left IT band. Use your breath, really let everything relax. On the exhale, let's place that strap down. Let's lengthen the body from fingertips to toes. How long can you make yourself? And then slide those arms somewhere near your sides, palms up, eyes closed. You made it to your last pose, total resting pose. Nice and relaxed. you find that your back tightens up or you need to bend your knees while we're in this pose feel free to do that so with those eyes closed let's briefly bring to mind something that we'd like to let go of and not take with us for the rest of the day and that one thing that if you put it to the side would allow you to have a better rest of your day Let's use our breath to do that. Pulling all the breath to the very top of the head. Exhale, feel that breath flow across your forehead. Roll across your temples. And across the back of the head. Across your eyes, nose and cheekbones. Feel the breath flow across the back of your jaw, straight down the sides and back of the neck, rolling across the top of your shoulders, opening up your chest and relaxing across your upper back. The exhale flowing down your arms, rounding your elbows, straight down your forearms, to your wrists, palms, and the top of your head. Between your fingers and all the way to your fingertips. Exhale, just move those fingers gently, letting tension and stress leave the body. With the breath rolling across your rib cage, one rib at a time. From your mid back down to the small of your back. Across your waist and your abdominals. Deep breath in. Exhale, your hips and glutes mold to the mat. Quadriceps and hamstrings relax. Knees, shins, and calves. 
ankles and you feel that breath round your heels and flow up the arch of your foot. Roll across the top of the foot. Between your toes and all the way to your toe tips. Exhale, moving those toes gently. Letting tension and stress leave the body through your toe tips. Noticing a peace and a calm. Picturing your day flowing smoother if you hung on to this peace and calm and took it with you for the rest of your day. Just watch it become contagious to those around you. Let's be nice to ourselves coming out of this position slowly. Bending one knee when you're ready and placing the foot on the mat, letting the other knee join it. As you slowly roll to one side, your bottom arm is your pillow. Take a breath or two here. And as you're ready on an exhale, gently press yourself up to a nice sitting position. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, bringing those hands to your heart. Surrender everything in your head to your heart. You guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.